Welcome everyone to part 3 of Dynasty Warriors 3 and in this episode we are going to be taking on the Battle of Guan Du. So let's get that rolling shall we? Yes. All right. Go. One shall. You'll change your tune soon enough. Together, the Allied forces emerged victorious over Dong Zhuo. However, the Han Dynasty had already lost all of its power. One by one, each of the Allied leaders heads home, secretly plotting to realize their own dreams of power and ambition. Various battles erupt around the land as leaders struggle for power, plunging the country into a state of war. With a large garrison stationed at Hebei, one man stood out during this period of unrest, the distinguished Wan Shao. It was Cao Cao of Hainan who stood up to this new threat. Despite being heavily outnumbered, Cao Cao held his ground against the much larger forces of Wan Shao. Then, in the year 200, the two leaders meet in the fields of Guangdu in a battle to determine supremacy of central China. Guangdu has been a staple in the Dynasty Warriors games for, well, since Dynasty Warriors 2. And remember, folks, Several months ago, I played Dynasty Warriors 2, so, uh, things should be a little bit different since the map is a lot better in 3 than what it is in Dynasty Warriors 2. There's still the matter of things actually changing up now. It's not nearly as dark as it is in Dynasty Warriors 2. Oh, God. Guan Du just happened to be the worst stage in that game because no matter how bright you make it, it is still dark as all hell. No matter how much you try to fix your TV, it's still dark. Now then. Uh, Don't let them we're get going the to be doing things a little bit differently in this all game what you did the in Dynasty Warriors 2. In Dynasty Warriors 2, you just simply found the Supply Depot and the battle is turned in your favor, right? Same thing applies here, except it's a guessing game every single um, time you play the Battle of Guan Yu. You never know where the Supply Depot is. It could be at the top. It could be right where I'm headed right now. It could be on the... Uh, lower right hand corner of the screen and the very lower right hand corner of the screen as well. There's four bases in all and you're going to have to play a guessing game on which one's the supply depot. You guess right and well the battle will be turned in your favor. Guess wrong and you're going to have to go through several other bases to try to find it. That's one thing. Another thing, Yan Leong and Wen Cho are trying to break down South South's base. If you don't uh, defeat Yan Liang and Wen Cho as any other way officer, they will have on one end archers and uh, ballistas breaking down your uh, wall, and on the other end they'll have catapults breaking down your wall. They break down the wall, the two of them will try to double team Tao the South South with a pincer attack. And that's when things get terrible. Hmm, so this is where it is. Send a message to our Lord. Yes! Well, it looks like I guessed the right one. So, since we found out where the depot is. Attack the enemy depot. Just simply either A, attack the officer, which is Chun Yo Chun or defeat the gate captain. Either way, if you capture him, you will end up burning down the uh, 
supply depot. And this happens if, when Cho is allowed to live long enough. Wu Chao compound is under attack! What? Ugh, it can't be! One Shao, this battle is mine. I still can't believe I actually got that on my first try. But, normally, this would not be the right one. As a matter of fact, it would normally be either the one in the middle or the one at the very bottom. Whatever the case, if you happen to fight on the first try, that's good. Great. And look how high my morale attack. wins because I just recently find that thing, the uh, supply the depot, surge. on the first try. I mean, the longer the supply depot lasts, the harder the enemies will become. Keep that in mind when you're trying to find the supply depot. Fighting this will actually hit uh, everyone's morale, well, all your enemies' morale, very hard. But if you found it and destroy it, everyone else's on your team's morale is gonna skyrocket. And that's what you want your enemies' morale to drop and your allies' morale to skyrocket. That way they won't die so easily to. Uh, Sorry about that, that was my alarm clock this time. That way they won't die so easily to enemy officers. So I want you all to bear in mind a few things. One, when it comes down to Guan Yu, that's the main thing. You want to make him, oh wait, make sure that he meets up with Liu Bei and Zhang Fei. That way, Liu Bei and Zhang Fei will retreat. The enemy has been reinforced. That is something that'll make things easier for you, because if you try to take on uh, Zhang the Fei and Liu Bei, I do believe that they are going to be pretty tough. And last time I checked, I think uh, Xiao Yun was today. also in that battle as well. So, well, in this battle, yeah, that's right, he was. So, in that regard, you have to be careful when dealing with Liu Bei, who happens to be a guest on this battlefield. But, there are two other reasons why Guan Yu is important. For one, if you're playing as Guan Yu, you can either A, uh, kill off Wing Cho, or B, kill off uh, Yang Liang. If you kill off both of them, well, no, it's not either or. You, you kind of have to kill off both of them to, in order to unlock uh, Yuan Shao. But if you do kill them both, it will keep the garrison from being under attack and at least give Cao Cao the edge. However, if you don't, well, as you saw, they're going to come in with more stuff and it's going to be a nightmare. On one end, again, Wen Cho just brought in archers. On another end, if Yang Liang would actually be alive, because he's going to end up being killed by Guan Yu, because he's heading that way, um, he would bring in a catapult. Once all that is brought in, again, they will do a pincer attack. Sorry if I'm repeating that fact. It's sort of like you're on a deadline, to say the least. And one more thing. The Musao walk. I mean, the Dim Sum is basically going to be in South South area, and I think one of the, um... I'm trying to think of which area had it, but I think both of them are within South South forces. One's right next to where South South residing, the other one is somewhere on the outskirts of the castle. I'm trying to remember where it was. It, I'll figure it out post-game, and I will put it in the description below, along with whatever it is that is unlocked in the stage. But, at this point, 
we got the momentum riding on our side and of course the enemy officer just recently popped in. Yeah, this game's got a terrible issue with popping. Say what you will about Dynasty Warrior 6, but the early games, they have pop-in issues. Lots of pop-in issues. Which begs the question, why in the hell did they actually try to emulate a uh, Xbox 360 and PS4 game on a PS2? And what I'm referring to is Dynasty Warrior 6 Special, which, by the way, was something... I'm not going to be playing in the near future, but I will try to tackle the vanilla Dynasty Warrior 6 if I can find it. If not, I'm going to have to digitally download it. I would prefer to digitally download it because, again, my Xbox is active. Funny how I can't really find Final Fantasy 13 in the digital download either. Otherwise, that have been started a long time ago. Oh well, there's always Steam. Anyway... We're just gonna have to mow through Yuan Shang and mow through all of the other enemies. There is gonna come to a point where Yuan Shao himself is going to attack. And that is when Yan Liang and, uh... Wen Cho has been defeated either by you or by Guan Yu. And Zhu Xu has been defeated as well, so now, uh, it's starting to become a little bit interesting. Actually, that's another officer they offed. That sucks. You're more skilled than I heard. Oh well. I could always go to free mode to try to power up uh, Xiao Ho Du. I'm gonna have to do that with everyone else if I want to actually get their ultimate weapons. And that's the thing about getting their ultimate weapons. Get Yes, getting the ultimate weapons here can be a pain in the ass if you are not strong enough. You're going to lose, and you're going to lose bad, especially on hard. Here's something that needs to be said though. This one has another annoying prerequisite. You're gonna have to ask uh, Yuan Shao, if you're playing as Yuan Shao's forces, protect Win Cho at all costs for 10 minutes. While that sounds good on paper, uh, bear in mind, uh, in this battle, Wei has the most Musao officers, whereas you only have probably Zenji and, um... Wait, Zenji was in this game? Yeah, she's in this game. Probably Zenji and probably, uh, Zhang He. Yeah, those are the only two you have. Because, again, the Yuan family, you're a bunch of generic officers, which I really hope they change in the coming games. Or at least in an Empire's game. We are getting nine, that's no doubt about that. But I hope it actually changed to where we actually get uh, the Yuan family as a part of the Dynasty Warriors franchise. And you know what? A little quick word while I'm trying to go over to save uh, South South. Don't try to change up the formula for Dynasty Warriors just because a couple of uh, shitty game journalists keeps hating on Koei. Just don't. We will crush them. I mean, I've seen nine. It looks good. The thing is, I'm actually afraid of what of the slowdown. That's the thing I'm afraid of. Oh man, I the went off topic. I completely castle. forgot that Wen Cho was still alive. Well, the castle walls have been breached. So uh, now Wen Cho's morale has gotten really high. So we might want to deal with him strength. now before, well, he goes to South Sal. And let's see, anyone else in that vicinity? 
that's the one thing I, again, I've already mentioned, this is the one thing that bugs me. Like in a later game, you can actually see where all of the lieutenants and the officers are going to be. But in here, you can't! So, let's go on ahead and take this guy down. And hopefully, hopefully, we won't have any more problems with uh, Yuan Shao's forces. I defeated an officer. This is what I get for letting Guan Yu do all the dirty work. Well, since uh, Wind Cho has been defeated, Yao Lan is pulled back. So that just leaves only one thing. Well, Yuan Xiao himself and also Liu Bei. But that's about to be where we need a little bit because we believe that Guan Yu is heading that direction. Oh wait, now I remember. Um. No, wait. I'm right. It is actually. I was having. I was having a brain fart. I thought the uh. Dim sum or the fairy wine was on the castle walls. It isn't. It actually is in a procurement in South South Camp. So yeah, there's that. Also, I forgot my horse. Oops. And the horse just well, it's left behind, and I don't think I have enough time to get it. I apologize for that damn near 40 minute part. Oh, I shouldn't say damn near. It was a 40 minute part, folks. No doubt about it, it was. And that's because of the fact I had to make a really, really long trip to go there. Now, normally, if all the strongholds were sealed, it would be easier on me and we got a full morale. But. Things are actually going to be uh, different in the next game, Dynasty Warriors 4. That those uh, guard captains you actually want to leave alive because of the fact that uh, some of the enemies will actually give you experience points. But that's not the case here. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, something's cut my throat. Anyway, here. You want to at least get rid of as many uh, dark captives as humanly possible, because the less trouble you have, the better. I think Guan Yu has gone up to Liu Bei, I'm not sure. It should happen around this time. Oh, there he is right now! Oh no, I wasn't looking at my phone. So, with that said, I do believe the cutscene's in order. Guan Yu! My brother? I know Guan Yu. He must surely have a good reason. We are going to pull back. Now, here's a funny glitch. If you actually we kill Liu Bei after that cutscene, Guan Yu does not leave. And, well, Guan Yu isn't gonna leave because Yao Du actually killed Liu Bei before he could leave. So therefore, no, Xiao Du, Xiao Yu Wan, sorry, we got the wrong Xiao Ho. Anyway, since he killed off Liu Bei, Guan Yu is here to stay for the rest of the entire battle. We will crush them today. now. Uh, I do believe there's one other weapon here that's. Before uh, the player, I'm trying to think. Oh, wait! Yeah, that's right. Zhang He actually has a weapon here, too. And all you have to do is practically uh, find the supply he go and set him on fire. That's all you have to do. I may be wrong. I'm going to have to probably double check that. But just in case, I'm going to have that in the description below, too. Whatever the case. This should be the area, if it actually pops in, where you find the fairy wine. If not, that too is going to be in the description below. It would be a very shocking surprise if it wasn't in that person. But, just in case, we're going to leave.
Because you on Xiao is our main focus, and my god, that guy is tough. But, now that I think about it, this is also Zhang Hei's debut game. So, speak of the devil, we should be running into him right about now. Where is he? I can't stand him when the horse is bucking while trying to run through officers. At least they fixed that Dynasty Warriors 5. There is nothing my claws cannot tear. Mind you, this is before Zhang Ha went complete and totally flamboyant. But, yeah, his loss should not be a problem. I defeated an officer. And he's down for the count, and I got an attack plus two from that. Nice. There is no glory to be won from this battle. The worst part about having to get you on Xiao's weapon, Don't you actually have to defend yourself from your own troops, specifically Zhang He and Xin Ji, because they will be in that battle and they will betray you. Oh, speaking of level 4 weapons, this is actually the first time that elemental weapons were involved in the game. Um, I do believe Cao Cao and Zhang He actually has... I'm not sure if it's Hei or Ha. I'm gonna say Ha, just for the hell of it. I believe Zhang Ha and Xiao Hu. I do. Sao Sao, that's what I meant to say. Uh, he actually are one of three people that have the must not fall behind. death element on their weapon. I'll figure out which one it is later. Not get past me so easily. But for right now, it's time for us to find Yuan Xiao and finish this battle. We pretty much dealt with too much. And we still have a broken wall in our palace. I think uh, Yuan Xiao's gonna play the game. I mean, he is rich. But let's see. Oh, right! This is also the game where Yuan Shao actually is introduced. No, wait, Yuan Shao is introduced to two. However, Yuan Shao is actually a lot stronger than he is in Dynasty Warriors 2. Oh, man! I do believe this is the guy with the piercing, the guard piercing headbutt. Yes! Yuan Shao had a guard piercing headbutt, so you might want to keep that in mind and keep the attack on him at all times. Chopping down his morale? Good idea, because guess what? You run into Yuan Xiao and he has high morale, he is going to waste you. Ironically enough, I didn't die to Lu Bu, but I died to Yuan Xiao a couple of times. All because of that goddamn headbutt of his. So, without further ado, let's go on ahead and find the old codger and put him out of his misery. After all, his entire family is nothing more than generic officers. They will not be missed. I do believe you have dropped... Ooh, a D plus plus two. Oh wait, I thought it was a D plus two. There was a guard that actually did drop a defense plus two in the battle earlier. So, I was thinking I was getting another one, but I guess not. It doesn't matter, defense is defense. This kingdom is mine. Kneel before me. Quite honestly, I prefer this voice over his smug voice he gets in Dynasty Warrior 7, I believe. And 6, yes. Actually, he started getting the smug voice at 6. But whatever the case, again, take heed, Yuan Shao has an armor piercing headbutt. And that headbutt gets stronger in Dynasty Warriors 4. So. You might want to keep the pressure on him, and do not get too far away from him. Yeah, he does have a sword slash, and yes, he does have a sword uppercut, but be careful of that freaking headbutt. 
I will not repeat myself. Well, I am repeating myself because I want to put it in your heads. One family. Prosper. Sadly, the fate of the Yuans is pretty much... Well, they're doomed. Plain and simple, they're doomed. Too bad we don't fight them in this game, nor in Dynasty Warriors 4 and 5. But I do believe 8... Let's just say they are some unlucky bastards. Anyway, we only got more level 1 weapons, which I'm going to end up having to discard anyway, because I'm not using a level 1 weapon. I have a level 3 weapon. And also, we have duplicates of everything we have. By the way, difficulty does not affect what level of weapons you get, or what level of item you get. It's all random, folks. So, with that said, ladies and gents, we are done with this part. I'll see you guys next time when we go after Guan Yu since he is escaping from Wei. This is RVMan985. See you guys next time in part four. And, well, I gotta tell you, it's a really short one, as well as the requirements for getting Xiao Dun's ultimate weapon. Peace out!